in three, two, one, go. Greetings. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Dave. I can't do that, but I'm Kenneth. And I'm Carson. Michael. <laughs> Dude, but Call me natural. So we're talking about section 14.4, the outer planet. Starting off with Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, and <laughs> Neptune. <laughs> and not mine, but yours, Uranus. Okay, the first planet is Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest and most, most massive planet in our solar system. Jupiter's mass is so big that it's two and a half times bigger than all of our other planets combined. Jupiter's atmosphere is also very thick. It's made up of mostly hydrogen and helium. Its structure, like many astronomers believe, there has a dense core of rock and iron at its center. Jupiter's moons are so big. Jupiter has four major moons called Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, including the other 60, the other 59 moons it has. The diameter of Jupiter is also 143,000 kilometers wide. The next planet we're going to be talking about is Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system right after Jupiter. Like Jupiter, it has a thick atmosphere made up of mainly hydrogen and helium. Saturn has the most spectacular rings of any planet. Saturn's rings are broad and thin like a compact disc. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is even bigger than the planet Mercury. So today I'm going to talk to you about Uranus and the characteristics about Uranus. First, Uranus has a total of at least 27 moons. Uranus' axis is tilted to a 90 degree angle on the vertical. Uranus is a gas planet. Uranus is way smaller than Jupiter or Saturn. Uranus moons have craters and lava flows. Uranus is rotating from top to bottom and not side by side. Alright, so the next planet we're doing is Neptune, and uh, Neptune is even, you know, he's even farther from the sun than Uranus. And uh, Neptune is gold, it's blue, and it has, it has clouds. <laughs> yeah, and um, uh, it was actually discovered as a result of a mathematical prediction. And uh, it has rings, very small rings. And now the next planet here is Pluto. Pluto used to be considered the ninth planet in our solar system, but until recently it is now called a dwarf planet, which is similar to a planet, but it has a few different characteristics. Pluto is very different from gas giants. It has a solid surface and is much smaller and denser than the outer planets. It's even smaller than Earth's moon. And Pluto is so far away from the sun that it takes 248 Earth years to revolve once around the sun.